The table of content area allows us to organize the contents of the title using various functions. We can add as many headings as we wish. These are created within the selected title. Similarly, we can create as many pages as we want within the chosen heading. The duplicate function allows us to create an exact copy of a page or heading. It is very useful when we already have some content in the page and need exact or very similar pages. We can remove a page or heading that we no longer need. The application will ask for confirmation. If we do not want to delete a page accidentally, we can block it. We can also change the page and heading order using the icons Move Up and Move Down. Or change their level with these other icons. Another way to move items is by dragging them to their new location. You can insert a table of contents and navigate through it automatically. To do this, simply click on the table of contents icon in the content item bar, and then on a point on the page where you want to place it. This content element reads and displays the core structure that has been created. To configure its appearance, go to the Properties window. Give it a clear name, and define the appearance of the text. You can even change the background color, or add a border. You can also decide if and when the scroll bar should be displayed. As always, you can precisely define the position and size of the table of contents. In the table of contents editor, you have more configuration options. To open it, click on the edit field or double click directly on the table of contents. Under the tree tab, choose the content you want to display, which can be either a chapter or the whole course. Even so, you can hide a page, chapter or table of contents from your selection. You can choose not to display the tree of your selection. The behavior options allow you to disable links to pages that have already been visited or those that are not visited. In the extension tab, you can decide whether to display new chapters enlarged or reduced. In the View tab, you can apply different styles to table of contents text depending on its status. For example, you can make sure that the page you're visiting always has a different background color or change the color of the text when you hover over it. You can also decide whether to display lines or nodes that help to understand the core structure. The Icon tab lets you add or modify icons that will be displayed in front of each level. You can include different icons for the course title, chapter, and page. The chapter and page are in their various open or closed states. You can use the application icons or use different ones from those you have.